wearable fashion trends for 2022. What to wear this autumn winter. Today I'll be delving into my ultimate guide on what to wear for autumn winter 2022. These are some of my favourite videos to film as I get to do a biannual deep dive into the most popular and wearable fashion trends for the upcoming seasons. This year we're seeing the continuation of 90s minimalism, pops of bright colour and vibrant tailoring to name but a few. And whether you're a diehard minimalist or a fan of going big and bold, I have a few fashion hacks for all different tastes. Ready? Let's go. Corsets. Fed up with hiding behind layers and layers of fabric, the trends are finally swinging in your favour. Similar to the more fitted skirts and dresses this autumn winter, we're seeing a resurgence of corsets and tailored bodices too. Now we saw this in pure elegant fashion at Caroline Herrera, futuristic at Gucci, worn as a dress at Richard Quinn. I'd love to have the occasion to wear that particular outfit, but I'm not sure how well that one would translate when I'm popping to Costa. So I'm thankful for Jason Wu's far more wearable approach approach to this trend. Now if you're interested in experimenting with this particular fashion trend, you'll have a lot of choices to work with, from denim to duchess satin, silks and cottons, corsets are all over the high street in different fabrics, styles and colours. If you're not ready to embrace this historical inspired look in full, I think the most wearable alternative would be with a dress with corset detailing. Think about showing off your waist and opt for that vibe with your dresses. It'll look like you're giving a nod to the trend without having to go full on Marie Antoinette. Don't forget to let me know your favourite trends in the comments section below. Maybe list your least favourite fashion trends too. That'd be really interesting to hear. Blazer style. It's all about sharp and wide oversized blazers. Again, if you're a stickler for trends, you might be quite confused. Yes, oversized blazers have been around for quite a while now, but we're seeing them in a different form this season. We've seen this sleek trend with the likes of Eero, Burberry and Michael Kors collection, proving that the mixture of shapes is going to be everywhere pretty soon. As opposed to last season's super slouchy vibe with blazers, this autumn winter we're going much sharper. Still quite oversized, but adding a bit of eye-popping shoulder action. It's the ultimate boy meets girl look, so style with a feminine dress or maybe with a straight up and down maxi skirt, which we will be seeing an awful lot of too. Now I know lots of you will rejoice at this, but you can safely forget the head to toe oversized baggy look this season. Hooray! <laughs> now it's all about contrast. Pairing blazers with a cinched waist underneath or maybe even a corset will give you extra style points. Now we're focusing on creating a juxtaposition between bodycon and sharp wide angles. This is an easy trend to follow on a budget too, as blazers are readily available on the high street for all different price points. And while we're thinking of the sharp shoulder trend that we're seeing with jackets this season, don't be afraid to try the look out with your tops, your blouses and dresses too. This knitted dress is a really affordable option that I found on the high street recently and actually it's ticking a couple of the different fashion trends at the same time. It gets a tick for the longer length, subtle embellishments with those gold button details and those standout sharp shoulders creating a really flattering hourglass shape overall. You could either style as is or depending on the weather, layer an oversized wool coat over the top or here as you can see the style works really nicely with a boxy blazer too. With looks like this it's helpful to take a picture of yourself in the mirror and just double check that you've got your proportions right. Where does your eye line want to be drawn to? Is there enough contrast? Can you see the shape of your waist? If you're feeling swamped in fabric try adding a belt underneath to force the eye to that area. Maxi lengths. As the cooler months roll around, the mini skirt is slowly starting to disappear. Though this trend isn't gone completely, it's great to see maxi lengths appearing in abundance on the runway. Designers are focusing on creating clean body silhouettes, allowing us to embrace our curves in a 90s minimalist kind of fashion. I particularly love the contrast of Saint Laurent's flowing silk maxi skirt set against that sharp and wide oversized blazer. It's one of those looks that shouldn't work, but I think it really does. And it would be a fairly easy one to emulate via the independent brands or with the more affordable high street stores. If you're ready to ditch the mini skirts, experiment with midi and maxi lengths that really hug to your hips. It's all about a streamlined silhouette here. Also these skirts are high waisted, which is great news for those of you watching the low waist trend in horror last season and willing it away. Style tip. When putting maxi length skirts with an outfit, consider adding a chunkier knit with your skirt. We'll get onto knits in a minute 
it, but this texture contrast always looks cool and really enables you to style the trends in a far more wearable fashion for everyday chic. Tank tops. Between statement trends, sometimes we just need a bit of a palette cleanser. And that's exactly what the chic tank top is. And when it comes to wearable fashion trends for 2022, the simple tank top hits the right note. Seen on the likes of Kaya Gerber at Prada, paired with simple jeans at Bottega Veneta, worn over shirts at The Row, and paired with leather at Chloe. These essential vest tops have been everywhere in summer, but don't expect them to disappear with the warm weather. Tank tops will still be a must during the autumn winter months. Now, unlike the simple summer styles that we've been wearing, these tops will be more about layering in the cooler weather. Also, keep an eye out for these in thicker fabrics or maybe a knit, ideal for adding some warmth to your look as the seasons change. Style tip. If you're creating a winter white tank style, consider embracing the flight jacket trend too. These two pieces complement each other really well for an on-trend but wearable everyday look. You get extra style points for completing the look with biker boots too, but more on those in a moment. Like blazers, the coat fashion trends for autumn winter 2022 are decidedly oversized, but that doesn't have to mean they're not wearable or chic for that matter. In fact, I generally like my coats to fit on the larger side anyhow, so that they can give me more versatility over the years. Now I've been collating my perfect collection of timeless winter coats over the last few seasons and really trying to invest in the highest quality that I can afford. That in turn not only means they look more luxe and polished in the moment, but they should stand the test of time as well. I tend to opt for longer options a size up once or twice depending on the style. I'm always cold so being able to wrap myself up is an absolute must but choosing compositions that are wool or even with a little bit of cashmere feels luxurious as much as it is practical once the weather turns. This season I'm on the hunt for sharp shoulders, oversized shapes while still retaining a timeless quality to them and those interesting details that really makes them stand out from the rest. The flight jacket. The flight jacket is an enduring fashion hero item and something I am personally really excited to see making a comeback in 2022. Originally designed back in 1917 to keep pilots warm, the design has come in and out of fashion over the years. So much so that this is one area I intend on investing in for my own wardrobe. I think we can feel pretty safe. It's never really going to go completely out of fashion. Another bonus with this particular fashion trend is chances are there will be a style a price and a composition out there to suit everyone. Catwalk wise, we saw a leather version at Louis Vey, embellished at Eli Saab, an oversized 90s cool at Isabel Moron. However you decide to rock this trend fabric wise this season, it'll add a chic edge to your autumn wardrobe and your outfit ideas. I've spotted an array of gorgeous options across the high street with the independents and more high-end designers. So there's definitely something to meet all different budgets. Style tip, flight jackets are staple pieces. Once you invest Invest in one, you'll no doubt never need to buy another. So with this in mind, assess the colors that you mostly wear already. The light pastel option might seem great for now, but will you still be working with this palette in years to come? Often the darker colors, black, gray, navy, khaki, etc., stand the test of time. While we are mixing in more contrasts with our shapes this autumn winter, trousers will remain on the oversized end of the scale. And while I do love a great pair of oversized trousers, I prefer to opt for the options that have interesting tailoring at the same time. My aim is to often look timeless with an up-to-date twist. And if that means I only dip my toe into the baggy trend, then so be it. I'd much rather my clothes last for years to come. These trousers are probably a perfect example of the winter look. They're pretty oversized, yet those pleats add a lovely detail across the hips. These are actually a classic bestseller style that they keep in stock year round, so I shall link them in the description box below. But I think it's safe to say they're one of my most worn pairs of trousers. Another lovely pair I've added into my wardrobe recently would be these from Parisian brand Rosé. Now I wouldn't describe these as oversized, they're just a really lovely shape that I think flatters me, so for that very reason I intend on wearing them on repeat. While this video is explaining what the fashion trends actually are this season, it's by no means set in stone that that's what you absolutely have to wear. I'll often deviate completely when I find something I love and that is absolutely fine. You should never underestimate the power of wearing something you feel really nice in. 
Chunky knits. Chunky knits are an autumn winter staple, of course. From dresses to cardigans, jumpers and trousers, all garments are on the table these days when it comes to knitwear. But what should you specifically be looking out for this year? Miu Miu's autumn winter runway focused on sweater vests and argyle style knits, a trend we've loved for the past couple of years. Now beige and cream colorways are the most popular variations of these particular sweaters, but don't be afraid to play with pops of color as well. I love Jill Sanders' knitted skirt combo, Molly Goddard's signature puffball shapes styled with those chunky knits, and the elegance of Regina Pio's two-piece I think is beautiful. Across the high street, I have found quite a lot of gorgeous knitted sets actually that tick both this trend, but also that 90s minimalistic feel as well. Now I personally prefer the knits to have a little bit of ribbing just for an added bit of texture, but there's lots of different options to choose from across the high street. I shall add a link to all my favorites in the description box below. Style tip. Cars always have an interesting range of knitwear that's often really high quality for the price. And independent store wise, I would say have a look at Stylin. They often have some really beautiful knitwear creations. They are a little more pricey, but I'm imagining the cost per wear on these would be reduced really, really quickly. One really wearable fashion trend this season is a fedora hat, seen for autumn winter 2022 in a range of different shades of wool. I bought into this trend quite quickly as I spotted a couple I like. They were affordable, they're a practical alternative for when it's cold, and on top of all of that, I think they're a really easy way to polish off an outfit idea. Both mine retailed under £100, and whether you opt to mix up your colours or go tonal, keep it casual or maybe more tailored, they're often the perfect finishing touch for your autumn winter looks. 90s minimalism. One fashion trend that I am delighted is sticking around would be 90s minimalism. With matching bodycon maxi skirts, vest tops and high-waisted trousers, this look gives us a chic uniform for everyday life. However, the fabric content and quality are actually the most important part of this particular trend. When shopping for your 90s staples, it's all about really luxe cottons, linens and silks and minimal knits even. These fabric compositions, if bought wisely, are really, really timeless and will last you for years. With this in mind, it's more important than ever to invest in the items you intend on keeping for life. Plus, good quality fabrics are more durable, they offer a better fit and just feel nicer to wear in general. Some of my favourite places to shop for this trend include Reese, Arquette, Everlane and Coz. It's all about fabric quality with stores like these, which is why I tend to shop with them so much. Style tip. My key tip for this fashion trend is to remember the two Fs, fit and fabric. Take your time to source pieces that feel really comfortable, that flatter your shape and your body, and bought in the highest quality you can afford. It's all about buying for longevity. This trend is definitely here for a long while yet. Subtle embellishments. Now, if there's one fashion trend that always resurfaces as we head into autumn winter, it's embellishment and some subtle sparkles. Actually, they're not always subtle, but there's often a sprinkle of glitz here and there. Each year, this trend comes back in a different form, and this 2022, we'll be seeing mini embellishments on belt details and shoulder straps. In contrast to last season's head-to-toe glitz, this season is all about those little hints of detail. Style tip. Less really is more with this particular trend, so it's advisable to opt for embellished accessories and pair them with muted outfits. Not only does this create more versatile combinations, but it saves you from having to buy a whole new wardrobe. Think about belts, bag straps, and different headbands. Opera gloves. One fashion trend that's hugely wearable and set to keep your fingers warm this winter is the emergence of mitten style sleeves and opera gloves. Thanks to the popularity of period dramas and all things historical, dainty gloves are back on the scene and not just for function either. Though I am giving this trend extra points for practicality. Now the more dramatic versions saw the gloves form part of the tops and dresses seen both at Givenchy and Christian Serrano, but perhaps a more wearable approach would be Stella McCartney's take with sleeves that are so long they completely cover your hands. Now whether you want to opt for drama or understated, built into your tops and dresses or separate, opera style gloves look set to be the accessory of the season. As you can see, the pair I was very excited to have found are sadly too small for my pretty large hands. So these have been sent back to the shops and I'll be sizing up to the large instead. I'd like to say the gloves come up small, but in all honesty, I think it's actually down to my very large knuckles. I should have been a boxer. 
mid-calf biker boots. Now I must admit, I really love my skinny ankle boots, the ones that I'm wearing actually. Ideally with a pointed toe and ones that come up no higher than say mid-calf. I personally just find these the most flattering to wear with lots of my favorite pairs of jeans and trousers. And despite the skinny shape, I actually find them strangely comfy to wear too. So it was with a little disappointment that I noticed that chunky bikers are the boots of the season. It couldn't get much more opposite than my favorites. With boots, I think I generally struggle with a round toe and then paired with that overall quite bulky shape I just end up feeling really clunky. Is anyone else with me on that? Either way this video isn't about what I personally like it's about what's actually on trend. So here it is. Love it or hate it mid-calf biker boots are all the rage. However I'm not going to admit defeat on this one just yet. I'm determined to try and find a version that I actually like on me that doesn't make me feel like I've got my feet in cement pots. One shoe trend I do really like is loafers. Chunkier than the classics I often wear, but a nice change for autumn winter. Now I haven't decided which is my favourite pair that I want to go for yet, but this is a little selection that I'm choosing from. And I'll also be investing in a new pair of ballet flats, a style of course that will never ever date, and I happen to have seen some really beautiful options around recently. I wore my Chanel dupes an awful lot throughout summer, so I'm thinking something along a similar train of thought, maybe in painting as I find that's a bit more hardy in winter time. So there it is is the autumn winter 2022 fashion trends. Though much of the style for the upcoming months is focused on paired back luxe with streamlined and really minimal elements, we've still got plenty of options to play with too. While I'll absolutely be jumping on the 90s minimalism trend, I'm also going to play with statement bags and exciting tailoring too. It's all about balance. So which trends are you looking forward to the most and which are you dreading? Are you excited to try a slinky leather dress or is it all about the details and gloves for you? Do let me know which you are most looking forward to wearing this autumn winter. If you enjoyed watching my edit of the most wearable fashion trends this season I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed that would be greatly appreciated too. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I really hope you feel inspired and ready to take the autumn months by storm. Have a great week everyone, I shall see you on Sunday.